The cake is ready. The honeymoon is booked. The bride in this video is Claire Richards. As a member of five-piece band Steps, Claire was the archetypal skinny pop star. The group were at the top of their game when they split, and for the next five years, Claire withdrew from the spotlight and grew bigger and bigger. I sat around pretty much and did nothing and ate myself stupid. Ballooning from a size 8 to a size 20, thanks to the food demons that have plagued her all her life. <laughs> I love food. That is amazing. It's not about fueling my my body to live, it's about finding the nicest taste in food and, and enjoying it. Now the bride in the video is getting married for real, and like most brides, she has the perfect dress in mind. That dress Two. is a size 12. Seven. Most women confess to feeling pressure to lose weight before their big day, and Claire is no exception. Can she go from a size 16 to a size 12 in just five months? I don't know if I'll be able to do it. I really don't. <laughs> Steps were one of the most successful pop bands of the 90s. Their catchy pop songs and dance routines made Claire Richards, Lisa Scott Lee, Faye Tozer, Ian H. Watkins and Lee Latchford Evans worldwide stars. Over four years, they sold over 15 million singles and albums, achieving 13 consecutive top five singles, a feat bettered only by the Beatles. Sometimes being in Steps is all just a bit of a blur. It's like, you know when you leave school and then a few years later, it's it's kind of gone, it's like it never happened almost. That's kind of how it feels now. But at the time, you know, it was amazing, you know, I was living my dream. I wanted your love, but look what it's done to me. Claire grew up in suburban Hounslow. At just 19, while working as a receptionist, she auditioned for Steps and was chosen ahead of 5,000 others. It was amazing, it was fantastic, I got to travel the world, meet people that I never thought I would meet. But on the other side of it, we were constantly working, we never sat still for five minutes really. It was 24 hours a day, almost seven days a week, 52 weeks a year, it was just constant. And Claire felt other pressures, particularly being in a band with two other women. I was always the one on a diet and I was always trying to lose weight. You know, when there's three girls in a group like that, I think there's always going to be a little bit of competition. In 2001, at the end of their Greatest Hits tour, Claire dropped the bombshell that she was leaving the band. No more left to say. At 24, her pop career was over and Claire found herself at a complete loss. Even though it was my choice to leave, it was, I don't know, I suppose I grieved for it for a while. And it was something I'd lost, that I, it was such, it was my life, it, you know, I didn't know anything else. It was like, now what do I do? What do I fill that time with? What do I fill my life with? And I suppose food kind of took, took the place of that in a way. For five years, Claire literally sat on the sofa and ate. By February 2008, she had doubled her body size, from a size 8 to a size 20. I used to live on McDonald's, literally. I used to get in my car, in my pyjamas, and drive to McDonald's in the morning for a McDonald's breakfast, just so I wouldn't, I wouldn't get out of the car. But I'd literally go, go in, and, and then I would probably order a McFlurry or something as well to put in the freezer for later. Five feet six inches tall, at her heaviest, Claire weighed 16 and a half stone. 